Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Escape from Tarkov with Zebu Nation. And boy, I gotta tell you, it's been a wild week. We did a lot of stuff here. Uh, we got some help from our buddy Trav. Went in, got into the mixer a little bit. Got some kills, got some experience points. Got up to level 5. Take a look at our character, if you will. You know, it's still not great, but it's better than what we were. 26 raids in the books. Two survived. So we've doubled our survival rate. 15 deaths, 9 kills. So our kill-death ratio is creeping up towards 1 to 1, which is sort of the minimum we're looking at right now. 9 run-throughs, 7% survival rate. You know, we're looking okay. We got some new skills. Endurance up to level 3, so we got all kinds of abilities now that help us you know run faster and jump higher and all that stuff vitality is now level one stress resistance level one perception is level two uh let's see attention memory again we're the worst D, &D character ever memory level three what does this give us decreases rate at which you forget okay that's good i don't know what we're remembering we're almost at level one for assault rifles <laughs> um Level 1 recoil control, level 3 covert movement. So you can see what we do is we mostly sneak around. We got some mag drills, we got some search abilities. Uh, we have charisma somewhere. I thought we had uh, charisma skill, right? Yeah, level 1 charisma helps us out in the marketplace, or at least with the vendors. So, you know, we're getting there slowly but surely. But for this mission, we're going to try something a little bit different. Well, I mean, kind of different. So, we are going to go back to Shoreline. We've been to Shoreline about a million times, but that's sort of what we know. We're going back to Shoreline, but this time we got a key. We've got a key to the store. So, let's see if we can go in there and, uh, you know, work some magic. See what's in that, that safe that's in the store. So... We're going to pause it here and then go in momentarily. Okay, late breaking news. This just in. I looked up that store key and it actually is a fake key. Doesn't do anything. So we're going to have to... We can't abort the run. So we're going to have to figure out something else to do. I guess we'll just sort of run around and see what's up. Okay, so we got our MP5. We got our schnipper riffle. We'll see who wants to mess with us. All right, we're we're doing it live here, live commentary. I'm gonna check this spot. There's a little room key down here. A little safety spot. See what we got. Let's see what we got. Question mark. Plex. Shotgun. Ooh, double A batteries. Screw nuts. See our endurance kicking in here. Okay, now where were our exits? I didn't even see that. Road to customs. Okay. So we're gonna have to go this way. We gotta create get across the river somehow. And in order to do that, we gotta go this way. Okay. So we'll see how this how long this commentary lasts. You know, it's uh, one of those things. You live and you learn, I guess. Tarkov. Um, what to talk about now that we got this time to ourselves? See, what were the other exits that possibly... Pier Boat Rock Passage. Okay, all the users. We'll see if Rock Passage is open. Uh, if it is, we'll just cut in there. There might be some scabs up here we could mess with. Mm. 
I need to get used to this sight. I'm still really not used to this sight. I gotta remember to look where I want first and then bring up the aim. Boom, dead. Avoid plants. So what's weird about this map is I found out that like sometime around two in the morning, it gets super busy. Like, you know, players everywhere. Especially down here. You see that? You see that? Probably just doing a circuit around that rock. Come on, what? Trying to run, but okay. Alright, alright. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Somebody else has started shooting at him. Trying to be smarter. Not working out too well. Hmm. be somebody following in my footsteps back there. So gotta keep moving forwards.
The interesting thing here is if there are... Oh boy. There are campers here. I've got a rifle that can deal with them. see how many hits that was. I'm hoping it's only one hit. Okay, the exit's open. Not seeing any campers. Oh, that guy is still there. Okay. Note to self, aim for the friggin' chest. I was... I think that that's definitely my problem with these kind of guns. Is I aim high, miss high. You know, I gotta remember my basic GI training. Aim for the neck. Okay, so that was an interesting set of circumstances that happened there. We went in with one thing and we just sort of ran out. That was fine. Um, got a tiny scrap of loot, but we did get a kill. Hopefully we got a survival. Nope, got a run through. I don't understand. I still don't understand. We got a... I mean... Yep, killed a scav. Does that not count? Uh, let's see. Four hits. Wow. Took four hits to kill that guy. That seems not so good. Two long shots. Longest distance, 108 meters, I assume. Hmm. Okay. So we're still figuring out how to get a survival. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll figure that out later, but let's take a look at our character uh, overall. Ten kills, fifteen KIAs, ten run-throughs. There we go. On the march. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.